It's Monday and I got mail today. I got box. So we're gonna crack this open and see just exactly what it is. Okay, that's fine where it's all taped up. And you get right into it. I really hate boxes and stuff. But I got several parcels coming, so I think I know what this one might be, but, uh, okay, interesting, because that's not my order, but we'll see, someone else got maybe mine, and I got someone else's, but it doesn't matter at this point. We'll find out. We can always work with the details. Yes, it is the electronics for the Boba Fett suit because I do cosplay as Boba Fett. And um, I was going to build one of these things, but I just never had the patience and time. I mean, uh, this is my background electronics, but. Um, I just didn't want to be bothered to do it. When I could buy it and just pop it in, you know, by the time I buy it and doing them, I buy the parts and put it together and uh, program it and all that, it would just take too much of my time and cost me just as much. And this is really neat, um, very professional. Um, it was only uh, a week and a half to get it. Well worth the money. Um, came from Fettronics in Ohio. And, um, yeah, so thumbs up there, John, for sending that. And uh, I'm going to contact you because I'm afraid that you may have sent me someone else's. And I have uh, don't want to uh, screw up someone else's order because it's got someone else's name on this. So, anyway, um, that's okay. See, the thing is, I have to get my suit up to snuff because Jeremy Bullock, who played Boba Fett in the movies... Uh, is coming to our con in November and I want to be having a decent suit 100% and uh, with all the workings and trimmings on it so I'm doing lots of upgrades to it right now a great suit that I made myself and uh, I had fun doing it and uh, you know it's not movie accurate <laughs> by any means but it is quite an enjoyable uh, suit and out of the different costumes that I do have, um, it's the one that people like the most and want to have pictures with me and all that stuff. So, um, you know, I definitely had to get this put in. So, uh, let's get some batteries put in that. But I'm going to go grab a bite to eat and I will be back and do this. This is so awesome. I just love the sequencing on it. It just looks great. So happy with this. It's fantastic. Actually, I was debating whether I go with the three step or the relevant step. So I'm, I really, you know, as fate had it, it chose. So me. this has now been painted one color, olive green. It looks a little darker in the video here, but it is olive green. And it is now ready for the plastic facing plate in behind here and the electronics to go in. So we're going to put them in there now because I have that part glued on the front. I had to glue that on before I sprayed paint it. And it looks a lot better. Well, here is the vest part of the suit. And right up here is the electronics that I added in. Now I'll turn them on in a second. And over here is where we're going to put the decal that we cut out on the machine the other day. So uh, I'll turn on the lights first. Okay. Here we go. I think that's pretty neat looking. Repainted that all in all in olive green and um, all the armor sections. And I still have to now go through it and add some scorching and whatnot. But uh, that's just minor detailing. So that is a major thing that we got done right there. The electronics put in. Now we're going to put the sticker on and we'll go from there. 
Here's a couple different pictures of my suit as it's been through the years. 2010, that was the first suit that I had. Um, it was basically the costume suit, and then I started upgrading it every year after. And um, that's two years ago, that's 2014. That is, you know, from Return of the Jedi, that one there. And that was also last year, um, 2015. And that's John Reese Davis, who played Sala in Indiana Jones. And uh, he really thought my suit was wicked. So, um, yeah, so I had to get a picture with him.